here is the new week and here are five new tools from artificial intelligence as i mentioned earlier in my various other videos the list of ai tooling is evolving on daily basis so i was not able to cover every one of them because there are hundreds of them but i was able to pick out five of them which sound really out of the ordinary but by no means this list is exhaustive the first and foremost tool on this list is quadrant which is an open source vector database for the next generation of artificial intelligence applications this provide paid support for managing and monitoring cloud options and there are a lot of cloud options you can search it and go onto their website and check it out but it's really cool then we have personal AI or Pi, which is a chatbot um, in order, which is primarily designed to be a kind and supportive companion, offering conversation, friendly advice, and concise information in a natural flowing style. I have tried it um, a fair bit of time, and it seems like a cool option. So I would highly suggest that you give it a try. Then we have Wonder Studio AI, which is an AI tool. Um, that automatically animates lights and composes CG, CG characters into a live action scene. It automates 80% to 90% of regular VFX work and leaves the artist with the remaining subjective work. It is quite cool, but I think there is lots to be done still because it's, but again, it's a very complex field and it has to be accurate. So whatever it is doing right now, it is really extraordinary. Then we have Star Coder, which is a large language model for code trained on permissively licensed data from GitHub. It outperforms existing open code LLMs on popular programming benchmarks while having a context length of over 8,000 tokens. <clears throat> and last but not least, Mojo is a very good tool, which is a sort of new programming language for AI developers. It combines the usability of Python with the performance of C, unlocking the unparalleled programmability of hard AI hardware and the extensibility of AI models. And I am intending to do a couple more videos on Mojo as I'm playing around with it. So far, so good. And I will be posting a couple of new videos very soon around Mojo. So please stay tuned. Again, if you have any feedback, please put it into the comment section. Thank you very much.